Johan here, 27 years old, retired dancer, high school dropout, self-made, entrepreneur, six figures, three companies. Let's talk about taxes today. Everyone knows my main company is an income tax preparation office. But what everyone doesn't know and what everyone does ask me is, hey Carmen, how did you get into taxes? I know what you're thinking. How did she go from working in the nightlife to working in clubs to being able to prepare someone's taxes? I know, it sounds outrageous, right? See, what happens is that sometimes opportunities just happen to kind of hit us in the face. And we don't even know that they're hitting us in the face. And we're not even expecting them. And we don't even know how to react when they do hit us in the face, right? One of the main things that I've always told people when they ask me how did I do it was that I was great at taking advantage of whatever tools or resources was held in front of me because that allowed me to become who I am today. Working in the nightclub had a lot of advantages and disadvantages, but I can tell you one of the main advantages in working in the nightclub was how many different people I met, how many different people from different areas of business that I've done come across. I came across various amounts of people, people from successful seven figures to unsuccessful, or let's say people from having the most highest doctrine in careers to people that are um, working the street life. When it came into customers coming into the bars or clubs, I always wondered what it is they actually did, especially when it came to those that seemed very wealthy. I took every opportunity to learn what these customers actually did for their careers because I wanted to know what is it that that person has that I don't have or what is it that that person knows that I don't know. So everyone wants to know how I got into taxes, right? One night in Atlanta came across a customer that happened to be involved in the tax industry. I didn't think that he was going to be my opportunity for a better life. I didn't know he was going to be my opportunity for a better life. What I did know, and at the time, he seemed very wealthy. He seemed like he had a lot of money, so automatically I wanted to know what is it this guy does. So when I asked him what he did, he said, I do, I do income taxes. I own multiple income tax preparation office franchises in Long Island. And I said, really, I'm from Long Island too. So long story short, let's fast forward, eventually he ended up coming to ask me to work for him in his office. That he needed a bilingual person to come work for him that could pick up quick and that could help him accommodate his office's needs. So I told him automatically, there's no way I can do taxes. I never did taxes. Yeah, I was good at math in high school, but I didn't do taxes. You see, a big problem with the women today is that when an opportunity does hit them in the face, they don't even notice this opportunity because they don't know how to react on an opportunity. When he asked me to come work for him, the first question that I asked him was, how much are you paying hourly? And then he replied, $10 an hour. That's the most I can give you, and that's what experienced tax preps make. I said, $10 an hour, what is that gonna do for me? That's not gonna pay any of my bills. And I went on to complaining and, and going on about how it wasn't enough for me and all these things, but what did I do? I ate the bullet and I humbled myself and I went to go work for the man. At that point in time, I can honestly say is when my life changed. Why? My life and my eyes was open to the financial world. I was literally introduced to the financial world. So now I'm sitting in an office with a, with a business that I had nothing, no idea about, and now I'm learning a new trade, I'm learning a new task, but now all these people are coming across me, right? So I'm coming across people that make $15,000 AGI, which means a, adjusted gross income for the year, and I'm also coming across the same amount of people that make $75,000 for the year. And as I'm being introduced to this financial world, I don't understand the difference between people's and their adjusted gross income and how they're taxed differently and how the more you make, the more you're taxed. I learned all these things by simply learning how to prepare a tax return, simply understanding what a tax return was built on. One of the things that I did notice when it came to people with higher AGIs, they kind of held on to their money a little bit more. They kind of learned how to work their money a little bit more. When it came to those that made less income for the year, they wanted more for their money. They wanted to work less and wanted more of an opportunity. When I started to realize the difference between income levels, 
lower class and middle class and upper class, it started to kind of register to me. Why is it that those that make a higher income can be more on a budget? Why is it that those that make a higher income can attain higher properties or higher valuables? Why is it that those with the lower income are trying to spend their money faster? And then it clicked. It just automatically clicked and registered. That our world, our generation, our society, our peers, we're all in danger because we don't understand finances. And for some reason, the poor is always going to stay poor because we're spending more money. The poorer we are, the more we're spending. Why is that? I didn't expect income taxes to be my life. I didn't expect income taxes to be my business. I didn't expect income taxes to be my calling. But you know what? It wasn't my calling. My calling is to be able to financially educate. My calling is to be, really be able to really sit down and figure out why is it that the lower class wants to spend more money while making less money? Why is it that they feel like they're entitled to more when they just do the least? At that point in time is when something triggered in my brain that I was meant to be part of financial services. Not only was I meant to be part of financial services, I was meant to teach financial education because something in me wants to see a change in this world. It took me sitting in an income tax preparation office barely knowing anything about financial services for me to really take a look at the world inside out. Like damn, my parents didn't understand money. Like damn. My uncles don't understand money. My brothers don't understand money. My family don't understand money. My friends' families don't understand money. My friends' families' families don't understand money. How are we ever going to learn or understand financial services if no one teaches us? Like, damn, high school doesn't teach us. College doesn't teach us. I never went to college, but I can almost tell you and guarantee you that college is not teaching you the different levels of financials or different levels of what you need to obtain to be financially free in this year. I've been busting my butt for four years, going on five years, trying to understand financial services and what it takes to get to the next level. So yeah, while income taxes may not have been what I wanted to do, but you know what? God threw income taxes on my life and he knew what he was doing when he did it. He knew that once I started to understand this financial world, I was going to come into it and make a difference because that's what I was meant to do. That was my calling in life. So at the time where I didn't see where income taxes was my opportunity and I didn't see where this customer that I met at a club was trying to introduce me to a new life, although that that route that he may have had planned out for me or that route at the time I may have had planned out for myself wasn't my route, I still understood that certain things needed to happen for me to be able to realize what was my opportunity for me to go to the next level. I can't do anything more for you than to educate you and try to show you the different levels of finances and try to show you on my four to five years of experiences and dealing with thousands of people's financial profiles, I can educate you from my levels of experience and seeing what different people go through on a day to day. I can quote you on that. The amount of negative issues that I've witnessed from all different levels of income and I can coach you how to stay away from that and steer clear of that and learn how to build a foundation and be financially free because that's what we're all here for is financial freedom. You heard Jay-Z say it. You heard Jay-Z said it. My parents never learned to be financially free. My parents didn't have shit so it has to start with me. I feel the same way. My parents never owned a piece of property. My parents never learned what it was to be financially free. My parents never knew what it was to work for themselves. But you know what their daughter did? Their daughter learned that and their daughter is going to teach them that and their daughter is going to teach the world that because that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for today and that's what I'm meant to be here for today. So yeah, as much as I, as, as I didn't like taxes and taxes just fell on my lap, I thank God every day for taxes falling on my lap because it was the opportunity and it was a shoot that I shot. I took a bet on myself. I learned the financial industry through preparing income taxes. 
Now, Prepare Income Taxes was one of my main companies and is one of my main companies today. So yes, I built my enterprise off of income tax preparation, but you know what? That was just a doorway to my greatness because today, today my calling and my meaning is to educate you on how to become financially free. It's to show you that you're not a product of your circumstances and you can self-educate and you can learn from me and you can learn from everyone else that's great that's out there that's doing it. Because we just wanna show you how to be financially free. So from the bottom of my heart, I want you guys to take my words of wisdom and I want you guys to run with it and I want you guys to be able to learn from me. So you can find me on my social media handles at Miss Carmen Mohan, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can also go on, log on to my website, imcarmenmohan.com. So get up, get to it, let's learn, let's stop wasting time, and let's financially educate ourselves for our family and for our futures. Come on.